Hi sweet friends, it's Petra here with a layout uh, for the September challenge of Scrap the Boys. And the September challenge is all about flowers. Um, well, since it's boys and flowers, perhaps not the most uh, obvious choice, but I love flowers and I'm not afraid to use them on a boys layout. So uh, I cut out some Lori Whitlock flowers with my silhouette. And I'm uh, backing my photo with the design papers. And I'm using two different collections by Simple Stories. A summer Farmhouse and a Let's Go Away, I think. Uh, both a bit older collections, but I still love them. And I love the bright and, and primary colors they use. So all those bright red, blue, yellow, I love it. So I cut out those 3D Lori Whitlock flowers and I used some very old dyes I have for some rolled flowers. And I always love those rolled flowers, but I'm always messing around with the ink. And But still I love them, so I'll make them. Sticky fingers it is, and I'm used to them. So <laughs> let's roll those flowers. I fast forwarded it a bit, as you see, because you're not willing to wait while I'm struggling sometimes with those flowers. But I always really like them. Uh, they're such a fun, fun element uh, and give it a bit more dimension. So here I'm using a Bramble Fox stencil, one of my favorites, uh, which I say a lot about uh, Bramble Fox stencils. And um, I was so hard headed not to tape it down. Usually I tape it down with a bit of washi. Um, so I could have made it more convenient for myself, but I didn't. So um, I'm using a, a mustard seed oxide. I always use my oxides for stenciling. So I'm happy with that arrangement and I'm starting to tape and glue things down. Um, this time I'm not elevating my photo because I want the flowers to be on top of it and not the other way around. So time to glue down those fun flowers. I love them. They're, well, they're 3D so you can lift parts up and it gives such a great dimension and they're really fun and not too girly so <laughs> although i'm finishing off with other flowers so So here are some stickers from the Summer Farmhouse collection and I always love those sticker books. And they match it perfectly. The it's the same collection as the paper is. <laughs> well, the dark blue paper is from the Let's Go Away uh, collection. So and the light blue also. So the red and the yellow is Summer Farmhouse and the blues are from the Travel collection. Uh, I want to have a title in a circular way and I simply use a plate as a guide and I'm using a pink fresh font, that's the white one, those are puffy uh, stickers and the yellow one is by Simple Stories and those are foam uh, letters. Because I love to use different fonts when I'm creating a title. And the title I'm going to make is Let Flowers Brighten the Day. To be honest, I wanted it to be Brighten Your Day, but I simply didn't have enough room <laughs> in the circle to create that title. So I adjusted it. And what I also always do is to check up front uh, if I have enough letters, because it has it has occurred that I was working on a title and I was gluing everything down and I was missing an E or an N. So <laughs> uh, I've learned from my own mistakes and I'm always checking up front if 
there are enough letters to create the title I want. So I'm sorry that my hair is peeking out, but when I'm wriggling around with those letters, I simply have to be a bit more close. I'm not 20 anymore, so... <laughs> So I decide I want to add some more of those stickers and I'm using that cute circle sticker with a heart and there's a little tab sticker um, which I'm placing on the top of the photo just to get the balance right again and then I decide I also want to use some of those gorgeous uh, breads they are in that travel collection And then I decide I want to stitch through the title and when I grabbed the page the letters fell off so they weren't as sticky as I thought they were so I decide to glue them down and it's only necessary with, with the puffy ones the uh, foam letters were sticky enough so I'm gluing them down because you don't want your letters to move when you're starting stitching stitching a title is always a bit of a challenge so I was thinking before I started, this could ruin my entire layout, which has happened before. But I still wanted to do it, and it was a struggle, I can tell you. Those foam letters are not really stitchable. I don't know if that's a word, but they're not. So it was a challenge that, that F curled up underneath my, uh, my sewing machine. So... Um, it was a struggle, but I did it by hand, using my machine and simply turning that wheel around and <laughs> stitching that way. Uh, but it it worked out, so I'm happy. So that's about it. Uh, always finishing up with some splattering. And uh, I will simply use a small brush to create those tiny little splatters. Uh, I hope you like it, I hope you got inspired, and I hope you're joining this September challenge of Scrap the Boys. Please check our Facebook and hope to see you in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye bye!